Hello, my Purple Banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down the Spike Muth Gym, and we obtained our seventh badge here in the Galar region. Today, we're going to make our way out of Spike Muth, and we're going to head to Route 9, where there's a tunnel that we need to make our way through. We're back here on Route 9, Outer Spike Muth. If you guys remember, Leon told us that we should head this way because the tunnel is now open. There was also a big kaboom in there. We got to figure out what is going on here inside of this tunnel. What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway in the same way? Nope, not helping. Okay, police officer. Well, we're going to go ride our bike on through here. What's going on, guys? What's happening? Leon, what's going on here, my dude? I'm trying to get through, but all these people are in the way. Rodri! This is mad, you know what I mean? Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know! That noise, it was like some massive explosion! There was this huge surge of red light and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me! Brazen as you like! Take a look at the news! See, there's Lee! He really is the greatest, right? Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye! I knew Lee was strong, but this? Really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Rodri. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. So you guys just heard where we're going. We're making our way back to Hammerlock. Lee took down a Dynamax Pokemon all on his own. That gentleman had some pretty tough Pokemon. Make sure you guys are leveled up. As you guys know, I've been leveling up our team. Everybody's a little bit higher now. We got Stripes at 45, The Rock at 41, Bugs at 50, Pegasus at 46, Magenta at 45, and Raven at 48. My goal is to get them all to level 50, and that's what I'm going to try to do before we get to the 8th and final gym in the Galar region. Now, you guys just heard we need to make our way back to Hammerlock. Everybody's waiting for us, so let's head to Hammerlock Stadium. It didn't take us quite long to make our way through here, actually. If Team Yell hadn't been blocking that path, we would have gotten right on through to Spike Muth. We're back here in Hammerlock. I also want to take this opportunity to give you guys a big thank you for all the tips and comments you guys have left me. Make sure you hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We're playing through Pokemon Sword and Shield daily. Over here! Well, if it isn't Rodri, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? An overflowing red light, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's going on. That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the Red Light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I asked you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that Red Light and the Darkest Day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we can do to help out? There must be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Gran, there's someone I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So, you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. 
Later days, Leon! I know what I need to do, all right? Defeat that Pierre once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah? Rodri, right hand's a tough nut to crack. We're here in Hammerlock. It's crazy how much has happened since we first arrived here in this place. We're officially ready to make our way inside of the stadium slash castle. And here we are inside of Hammerlock Stadium. Let's talk to some of the people here. So Pokemon are affected by weather. Guess you could change the weather right back. Yeah, we definitely know about that. What's up with you, dude? You a challenger here too? What's up, guys? You challenging the gym or you guys just here to watch us? We'll be in there in a little bit. What's up, ball guy? Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokemon to celebrate the occasion. We got a level ball. Whoa. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are at a low level than your own Pokemon. Level ball is perfect for high level teams. Higher Pokemon's levels compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeball is just full of surprises, don't you think? A level ball. So if we have Pokemon that are level 100, would it make catching level 60 Pokemon easy as well? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that it probably will. How's it going over here? What are you guys doing? All that's left is the final gym. You can do it, Challenger Rodri. Yes, we can. The long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the dragon user, Ray Han? You bet I am. In that case, please use the changing room to change into your uniform. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. Let's see how many gym challenges are left. Huh? Not even 10, eh? All right, then. Rodri, time to explain the Great Ray Hands gym mission. The rules are simple. All you gotta do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challenges who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Rayhan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Here we go! The gym mission is on its way. This is Rodri versus Gym Trainer Sebastian. As you guys just heard, this is going to be a doubles battle as well. So, the battle is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. And let's get it popping. I'm feeling pretty good here today. I feel like we're going to be doing a good job. So, let's put everything we got into this Let's get a W here for our team. Now, that's a Sligu coming out. Let's see if we can do a little damage to the Sligu. I'm actually going to switch out the Rock, and we're going to bring out Magenta here. I think Magenta is going to help us a lot against the Pelipper. So let's see how this is going to go. It's pretty cool that this gym is established on doubles battles. I wonder if the final battle against Rayhan will also be a doubles battle. That is going to be for us to find out. Here comes the Water Pulse. That did a lot of damage to Magenta, surprisingly. I have to tell you guys that. That is two water pulses on Magenta. What kind of mother fudging? What are they doing over here? I wonder if Magenta will be faster? I'm gonna go for it. You never know. And Magenta is actually faster than both of these Pokemon. So we're gonna go for the Overdrive. The Pelipper is down, ladies and gentlemen. And the Sligu... Took a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot, but took a little bit of damage. We're out here. Magenta has grown to level 46, and I will gladly take that level up before we continue through here. I went for the nice slash, and the Sligu is down as well. What a great combination then to have here. Stripes and Magenta coming in clutch for us. We defeated Gym Trainer Sebastian. Doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. We got 4320, and you are right about that, Sebastian. I can see why you managed to make it this far. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camila. It is time to take on the second trainer. And as you guys can see, at least 
they're giving us a break in between, which I would say is going to help us out a whole lot. Now, it's a bunch of Dragon-type Pokemon coming out. I'm thinking we're going to have to mix up the team a little bit, switch up the Pokemon that we have in front. Now, I really do like having the Rock up in front. I feel like the Rock's going to help us out a whole lot. I also do like Magenta being up there as well because they both have moves that are going to affect multiple Pokemon at once. So we'll keep them up in front. Let's hope for the best. Let's jump into our second battle. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Gym Trainer Camilla. Let's go ahead and take on Camilla. She's going to send out a Ninetales and a Turtonator. Okay, okay. The battle is on its way, and let's see what we can do here. I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. I think we're going to do a lot of damage here against these Pokemon. So let's go for the Smackdown. The Smackdown only hits one. The Ancient Power only hits one as well. I'm going to try to take out the Ninetales first of all. And we are going to go for the Overdrive here. Because you never know what could happen. So this battle is on its way. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Turnator set in the trap. Magenta went for the Overdrive. That already did a good amount of damage to these Pokemon. Here comes the Extra Sensory. I did a little bit to the Rock. Hang in there, the Rock. You're up next. The Rock used Ancient Power, baby. And that's going to be super effective on the Ninetales. The Ninetales has gone down. There is one Pokemon left here. I knew he could do it. The Rock is coming in clutch. The Rock is also getting a lot of XP, which is really good for us. The Shell Trap didn't work. What went wrong there? That is what you guys are going to have to tell me. So I'm going to wrap this battle up. We're going to go for a Poison Jab on the Turtonator, and we're going to go for the Ancient Power. The Turtonator set a Shell Trap this time. All right, well, let's attack it. Let's see what the Shell Trap is going to do. Not a whole lot is what that's going to do. And we also managed to poison the Turtonator, so we're doing quite good. Here comes the Shell Trap. Wow, that does a lot. Magenta took a lot of damage there. Regardless, let's go for it. The Turtonator is down, and the Rock has done it. I knew this would be a good combination to have out here. That's what I'm talking about. We're all gaining a bunch of XP. Everybody's growing levels. We're getting close to level 50. We defeated Gym Trainer Camilla. The weather's fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. We got 43-20 for winning. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have for well earned. You made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. There is one more trainer for us to take down here in the gym mission. So let's go ahead and get our Pokemon healed up once again. We are going to leave the Rock and Magenta up in front once again. If needed, we'll switch in. I'm feeling pretty good. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through? Or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Here we go, Rodri versus the third and final trainer. We're going to be taking on Gym Trainer Aria here in the final gym mission. Aboma Snow and Hakamo O have come out. This is actually pretty good for us. I think we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to these Pokemon. Aboma Snow, Snow Warnings coming out. So let's see what we can do here. It started to hail a little bit. I'm feeling it. It is hailing a little bit. We're going to open up with the Incinerate. And I'm going to go for the Poison Jab. On the Aboma Snow. We're going to try to take out the Aboma Snow first. So let's see what, how much damage we can do to it with the Poison Jab. Woo! That did a lot, ladies and gentlemen. It is super effective on the Aboma Snow. Noble Roar is going to come out. Rock's attack. Okay. Our attack and special attack fell. I hadn't seen some of these moves before. It's interesting to see them. Aurora Veil is going to be coming out as well. And it strengthened the team. Nonetheless, Aboma Snow is out. Now we only have Hakumo O left to go, ladies and gentlemen. This should be a very easy battle for us. I'm enjoying our combination a lot. I wonder if Rayhan will also have a doubles battle. Because if he does, we're going to be ready. Okay, let's wrap this up. I'm going to go for the Ancient Power. And we are going to go for another Poison Jab onto the Hakumo O. It is a Dragon type. Let's see what we can do with this little dragon. The poison jab did a lot. Here comes another noble roar. This time it's going to magenta. The rock, I need you to step this up, the rock. Let's go, baby. Hit me a crit. Ancient power. And the colossal did not do that much. So we're not doing all that much here. That's okay, ladies and gents. That is a-okay. 
We are still on the offensive. There is no stopping this train today. Let's go ahead and knock out this Hakamo O so we can take on our final gym challenge. So close to going down. The Brick Break is coming out. I like when other people use the Brick Break. I like that a lot. The Rock's Flame Body lit up the Hakamo O. Hakamo O is burned. We're going to finish this off with the Incinerate. Maybe not. It is hanging in there, man. This Hakamo O is very, very strong. My goodness. All right, Hakamo O, if you want to go down any minute now, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here with the Poison Jab. Magenta, wrap this battle up. Hakamo O is out of here. We defeated Gym Trainer Arya. Cooperation between trainers and the Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. We got 4320 for winning. Well done. I'm honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Roger. You completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle, though I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Rayhan, will have to show you. Gym leader Rayhan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Here we go, Rodri versus Gym Leader Rayhan and his Dragon-type Pokemon. This is the eighth and final Gym Leader of the Galar region. Rayhan's gonna open up with a Gigalith and a Flygon. I have Raven and Magenta up in front. Now, I brought Raven out here because we do have the U-turn, so we'll be able to U-turn on out as soon as we need to. Let's see what we can do here, though, ladies and gentlemen. So that's gonna be a Gigalith with a Sandstream coming out at us. So a Sandstorm has kicked up. Let the winds blow. Straight forward. Sandstorm. I'm going to U-turn up out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to U-turn on the Flygon and Magenta. We are actually going to switch out as well. And let's see who we can bring out. I'm going to try to bring out the Rock here. Hopefully, these switches will help us out. Let's see how it goes. The Rock is out. Flygon went for the breaking swipe. That did a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. That's really, really good. It's not very effective on Raven at all. And there we go. We're going to land the U-turn. And Flygon has took a little bit of damage. We're coming right back. So now I'm trying to mix things up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to mess with them. I'm swapping out the Stripes. And let's see what we can do against these Pokemon. Sand Tomb. Ooh, that did a little bit of damage to the rock there, ladies and gentlemen. That is super effective on the rock. We got stripes out. The rock, you gotta hang in there, the rock. Ooh, the rock is taking some serious damage right now, ladies and gentlemen. I am gonna try to take out the Gigalith. Let's go for it. And I'm also gonna drop the Incinerate right here on both of them. Flygon is going for the Breaking Swipe again. We tanked it up. Let's see what our team can do now. Can we get on the offensive here? We're trying to get a little damage out. There we go. The Rock's Flame Body did burn the Flygon, which is really, really good. Let's drop that Brick, Brick, Breakity, Brick, 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 Breakity on the Gigalith. It's super effective, but it doesn't do all that much to it. We did land the Incinerate, though, and that's going to do a little bit as well. It's going to take a little time here to weaken these Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. The Body Press has come out. Stripes is down. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. At least we managed to burn the Flygon. That right there is going to put us at a big advantage here, ladies and gentlemen. So now the Flygon is burned. Let's switch it back up, and we're going to bring Raven back out here. Raven is going to be able to do a lot of damage to these Pokemon, so we need to jump in. We need to take charge here and see what we can do with our Pokemon. Raven's pressure is exerting on everybody. So here we go. I'm going to go for that Steel Wing onto the Flygon. And let's go for the Ancient Power onto the Flygon as well. 
Since the Flygon is burned, we'll try to take down the Flygon first. Here comes the Breaking Swipe, ladies and gentlemen. The Rock, you gotta hang in here, baby. The Rock, it's all up to you right now. We got a lot of Pokemon ready to go, but we need the Rock to do a little more damage here. The Steel Wing did a good bit of damage, and the Rock went for the Ancient Power. Let's see how much that is going to do to the Flygon. Not that much, but we're weakening it down. That's all we can really do right now. Take this one Pokemon at a time, since this is going to be a very, very intense gym battle. As you guys can see already, this is turning out to be one for the books. The Rock is out of here. Good work, Rock. You're a little low level, and you already helped us out so dang much. It's time to bring out Bugs, our level 50 Pokemon, here in this doubles battle. Ooh, Bugs took some damage there from the Stealth Rocks. We're going to go for the Steel Wing on the Flygon. And I'm going to go for the Double Kick on the Flygon as well. Let's try to wrap this battle up, ladies and gentlemen. The Double Kick is actually going to take down the Flygon here. Flygon is out. So far, so good. We're going to gain some XP for that, and Bugs grew to 51. Let's go for the Steel Wing, then. And that did a lot of damage to the Gigalith as well. Gigalith is going to go for the Body Press onto Raven. Solid. Raven is tanking everything up for us quite well. Really enjoying this battle so far. We're doing a really good job. Here we go. It's going to be a Sandaconda coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Sandaconda. Okay. That's pretty funny. Let's go for the Steel Wing on the Gigalith. And we're also going to start dropping our Pyro Balls. So it is showtime here. Let's start doing some damage. Bugs, use that Pyro Ball. Gigalith is so close to going down with Raven Steel Wing. Gigalith is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving on to Ray Hands 2. Next Pokemon. Let's see what's going to be coming out. We gained some really good XP for this, too. Ooh, Magenta wants to learn Boom Burst. Boom Burst. The user attacks everything around it with a destructive power of a terrible explosive sound. Well, that does sound a little bit horrible. I got to tell you guys that. We're going to get rid of Discharge, and we're going to learn Boom Burst. Here comes Sandaconda going for the glare. So Bugs has been paralyzed and the Sandstorm has subsided. That is a big, big win for us though. If that Sandstorm can stay like this, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. That is going to be Duraludon. What the mother fudge is that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go for the Sandaconda with a Steel Wing. We're going to go for the Pyro Ball. Onto the Duraludon. Here we go. Bugs is paralyzed. Oh no. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. That is a Gigantamax. Duraludon, and it just turned into a Pokemon Tower. We're going up against a Skyscraper up in here. Doesn't that make a lot of sense that we would have the Rock going up against the Skyscraper? Because if you guys know the Rock, the actual actor, he did a movie recently called Skyscraper. The winds rise again. Stream forward, Sandstorm. It's pretty cool that we're doing this. Let's go for the Steel Wing onto the Sandaconda. You know we're hanging in here, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing everything we can in our power to hang in here. This is a very tough battle right now. Raven is paralyzed. Bugs, use the Pyro Ball. And that did half of the Duraludon's damage. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. We just did so much damage there. That is awesome. That is really, really good. Pegasus, it's your turn, baby. Let's see what you got. We took some damage. Here we go. It's time to do a little something here then. Let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to attack the Duraludon. Let's see if we can get on the offensive of this bad boy and do some serious damage here to it. Pegasus is going to go for the Psycho Cut. Doesn't do a whole lot, but it's okay. You know we're going to stay. Oh, the Max Steel Spike. What the mother fudge is that? Oh, wow. Well, that did some insane damage, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little surprised there. That did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. And the glare is just going to keep coming out. Raven's paralyzed. I did go for the drill peck on the Duraludon. 
So far, so good. It's going to be Magenta coming out. We are very close to wrapping up this battle. That Duraludon is going to be dropping back to normal very soon as well. So once it does, this battle should be in our pocket. I'm actually going to max revive Bugs. Bugs is going to be the final Pokemon to wrap this up for us. I'm feeling pretty good with Bugs doing just that. Now let's just do a little damage. The max revive has come out, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Magenta is going for the overdrive. Oh, the Duraludon is almost knocked out. Here comes the Max Knuckle. This should be the Duraludon's last turn as a Gigantamax. And Raven just absolutely tanked that out as well. So, nothing too crazy there. We were able to stand up to the Skyscraper. Here comes an Earth Power. Magenta is out of here. Just in time to wrap up the battle. This is actually turning out to be quite a tough one. But exactly how this battle needed to go. So let's send out Bugs and let's end this thing. The points dug into us. The Druladon is back to normal with very low HP. Let's wrap up this battle. I'm feeling quite good, guys, and I know you are as well. So let's go for the Steel Wing here. Actually, let's go for the Drill Peck on the Druladon. We're going to Dynamax our boy, and it is time for the Max Flare. Here we go. Bugs, this one's for you, my friend. Bugs used Max Flare. That did a lot of damage to the Sandaconda. The sunlight turned harsh. Pulling out a sunny day, huh? That's not a bad countermeasure. You already know how it is we're going to do it. Sandaconda Sand Spit is also coming back out. So it's a back and forth. Here comes Stone Edge. That did a lot of damage to me. Oh my goodness. And Sandaconda is going to go for the glare. We're already paralyzed out here, Santa Conda. You gotta calm down. We're going for the Drill Peck. The Duraludon is down, ladies and gentlemen. This is a two-on-one battle. So let's wrap this battle up. Raven grew to level 50 and wants to learn Brave Bird. Wow, okay. Brave Bird is a really good move. Didn't think we'd be learning it this fast. It looks like we are gonna have to get rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of Drill Peck then. And we're gonna learn ourselves brave bird because raven really has proven to be a brave bird here standing up to all these pokemon bugs is buffeted by the sandstorm so we're gonna offensively get on this one final time i'm going for the brave bird we're going for the max flare let's wrap this battle up earth power is coming out on bugs oh bugs just took that damage you know it's gonna be super effective Bugs is coming back to normal, ladies and gentlemen. And very Raven is paralyzed. Mother fudge a Raven. Come on. You really got to be paralyzed right now during the final battle. Uh, you can't just help us out. You can't help out a man a little bit here during the final battle. Nonetheless, we sent Bugs back out. Wanted to revive. Bring Bugs back in. The points are still going to do a little bit of damage to us, but we're hanging in here. Here comes the Fire Fang. Who would have thought Sandaconda had a Fire Fang there? Sometimes I don't know what moves to expect from these Pokemon. You just gonna have to take a wild guess. All right, let's wrap this battle up. I am gonna go for the double kick on the Sandaconda. Bugs, let's do it, baby. That did a tiny little bit. All right, well, it looks like Raven is going to be the one that wraps this battle up for us if Raven can break out of the paralysis. Raven, use Brave Bird. Sandaconda is down. That's all of Rayhan's four Pokemon fainted. We defeated Gym Leader Rayhan. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Say cheese. We got 76.80 for winning. You keep taking your selfies, Rayhan. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and fresh as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems like I've grown quite conceited for some who can't even claim the title of champion, overconfident both myself and my team. 
I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. Thank you, Rayhan. With that, guys, we have obtained our 8th out of 8 badges here in the Galar region. We got no more to go. We can now catch Pokemon of any level. You've collected all the gym badges from the Galar region. Now, win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. You've collected all the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Rodri! What's up, Rayhan? Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Break and Swipe. We got TM99 Breaking Swipe. Awesome. This user swings his tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stat. And secondly, here's a Dragon type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. We got the Dragon uniform. Number seven, Challenger Rodri, you've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength at the whole region at the Champion Cup. Rayhan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Rodri and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Rodri. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Thanks, Rayhan. Hop is going in there now. We have officially obtained all eight badges in the Galar region. Hey there, Rodri! You gave Rayhan a good thrashing, and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we'd go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. That late, the covered hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, which said the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. Certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from Wishing Stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary Sword and Shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gren? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Whoa! Professor Sonia! Yeah! The two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You and Hop could be the one to take down Leon. And I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. You did it! You got the Dragon Badge! Hey, thanks everybody! Hey, what's up, man? What a match, the best battle of the year! Are you guys serious? You guys are actually cheering me on for once in my life? Now, let's make our way to the train station. Wherever the fudge that is, I, I gotta check the map. Let's check the map real quick to see where the train station is going to be. Is it to the left? Is it to the right? I think it's over here? Maybe to the right? Yeah, it's probably to the right. I think the train station is actually over there. Because we met Hop over there before. So let's go ahead and ride on over. It's been a crazy eight badges. We actually made our way through the Galar region. And collected those eight badges pretty quickly. I feel like I caught on to this region really fast. I've enjoyed it a lot. I have to tell you guys, it's definitely one of my favorite regions. Just from what I've played. Hey, what's up, people? We are up, Rodri. I'm coming too. I had Rayhan beat in no time. Once I got my head out straight and stopped doubting every decision I made... That is, <laughs> And you never stop mattering all through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine. It's proven by the dragon badge you want from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm and I, even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win. But I'm up against my true rival, Rodri. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Rayhan, to beat him. So get a move on, Rodri. The train's waiting. Later days, Rayhan. Later days. Oh, 
We're finally headed for Winden. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's that big tower and the monorail. And Winden Stadium where the whole of Galar... No, the whole world is going to be watching us. You get it, right? You and me are going to make our match there the greatest match that ever was. Looks like we have arrived. What's up, dude? What you guys doing over here? Wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. And that is very curious. I wonder if we would become grassy. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there will be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Rodri. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team. And I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. We've made it to Route 10, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys just heard it here first from our boy Hop. We're off to Winden. Our Pokemon healed up. Okay, at least our Pokemon are healed up. My goodness, I was about to say. If they're going to throw us into the mix without even giving me the chance to heal up our Pokemon, it's going to be a little tough up in here. Now, we are officially on Route 10. Would you look at that? That's a Galarian Mr. Mime. Let's jump into some battles. All these doctors and not one of these guys can heal up our Pokemon. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Let's go ride our bike up to Winden then. I get it why it's called Winden. There's a lot of wind on this route. These Pokemon trainers are pretty tough, but they're offering some really good XP. So I'd highly recommend you guys jump into these battles before we head into whatever it is that's coming. Since the Elite Four is going to be coming up, you guys heard that the championship's coming up. It's going to be a whole lot going on, so we need to get our team ready. Really glad they're all getting levels, though. If I can get them all to 50, that would be really, really good for me. Let's run over here, then. Whoa, there's a bunch of Pokemon over here. There's like a Pokemon trainer tips. So if you guys want to catch some Pokemon, you know where to do it. We're going to keep on going into these battles. So far, so good. Let's keep on moving. I do see another trainer over there. And there are a couple Pokemon chasing me around right now. We got ourselves a Comet Shard. So there are going to be two battles here. I'm going to get ready as well because I'm taking a lot of damage. If you guys have been noticing, the Pokemon here are pretty tough. They really, really are. Let's see if we can switch things up too. I'm going to put the rock up in front. As I feel like the rock is about to get some serious XP here. Bugs has been doing pretty good, but Bugs has got enough XP as it is. So let's go ahead and switch it up. The rock is going to go up in front. We took down the postman. There's another guy here.
have to be getting close to the Pokemon Center now because my Pokemon have took quite a whooping here on this route. Those Galarian Mr. Mimes are pretty cool though. If you guys are going to catch one, definitely do it. Oh, would you look at that? There's even more here as well. We have to be getting closer now because these battles are definitely a lot tougher than you would think. There's someone over here camping as well. And I feel like you're going to need a camp if you want to make your way through this place. We're going to keep going up the hill. A couple more challengers it looks like. So let's get our team ready. Our team's been taking a good whooping here. The Pokemon we're going up against are pretty strong. And we don't have that much of a type advantage against some of them. So in preparation, we're going to make sure we use up all these revives. We're not losing anybody here today, ladies and gentlemen. We're making sure all our Pokemon are making it through to the next town, to Winden. Let's go ahead and heal up Raven and Bugs, and probably Stripes as well. Now, let's go ahead and change up the team as well. For this final stretch, we're going to put Bugs up in front. Hopefully, Bugs can carry us on through here to the finish line. We gained a lot of XP there. You guys can see that it's the camera crew up next as well. They might just be the last battle before we make our way to the Winden place. So let's go ahead and get everybody prepared as well. It's been a little bit tough up in here. I got to tell you guys that. Definitely a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. Even Bugs is out here getting a bit of a whooping. And Bugs is one of our highest level Pokemon. So it's definitely tougher. Make sure you guys are prepared making your way through here. We're going to go ahead and heal up Bugs and let's jump into the next battle. We defeated the interviewers and we have made it up the hill. Would you look at that? Everything is warmer here. It looks like we have officially made it to the next area.
We have arrived at Winden. Winden City, this is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Rodri. You should head there yourself. We'll see you there, Hop. We have made it to Winden. This is the modern city of Winden. This booming metropolis was designed and developed by our very own Chairman Rosé. So this is Chairman Rosé's town. This is a really nice city. I have to tell you guys that. There's going to be lots for us to explore. So next time we'll be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye.